Uh, the best firepower is that that comes from the subject matter expert uh, from whatever that uh, either company is, right? So if you think of, and there's a couple of different types of marketing, people are probably heard these terms before. When you're going direct to the consumer, you're marketing to the end user, all of us. So a car dealer, all of their marketing and advertising efforts are to get us to respond and see their yes. stuff. So the best firepower for them is the content uh, relative to what they sell. And they do that well, but they have a lot of support in three different tiers, right? So if you're selling Toyotas, you have right. tier one support, mm -hmm. you have regional support, North Texas Toyota dealers. Right. You So you've got a tier two level and then you've got a tier three, which still gives a dealer quite a bit. It when does. In, in fact, or franchise, it still gives them quite a bit of leverage and what they can and cannot do on their own at tier three. Um, so then what's the best firepower? The best firepower is one, you can't actually launch your best shots if you don't know exactly who your customer is. And a lot of people will fast forward over like, well, the persona development, is that what you're talking about? Yes, kind of. If you have, and a lot of dealers are in this case where they actually sell multiple brands, right? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. You have a Toyota store, but you also have a Kia store. You also have a Ford store. You also, maybe you even have a Chrysler Jeep Dodge store. Mm -hmm. If you have multiple brands like that, one of the things that I always tell dealers, and I've said this for years, you have to make sure that you're not trying to speak Ford to a Toyota buyer. That are there word. similarities? Sure. There are yeah, similarities. Sure. Yeah. But if you think about the differences, a better example is, and this has come up um, a lot with uh, with me and certain dealers over the years, I used to work with Subaru dealers um, a, a lot. And I would always tell those Subaru dealers that if they're part of a group that has other brands to go in and specifically look at how are your automated follow-up uh, templates set up for people that were trying to figure out, well, what's our process within our CRM? Mm -hmm. Because in most cases, uh, you have Subaru people who are saying, hey, I'm interested in this vehicle. And what they're getting back is co-branded. So it's not just the Subaru dealer. It's got Chevy and whatever else in it. And the way it's written as if I was interested in buying a Silverado, right? Yeah. Or a Camaro. And Common Subaru place. Common are, place. Yeah. Subaru buyers don't want to be talked to like they were you know, going to buy a Silverado. Not that there's anything wrong with buying a Silverado. It's yep. just, there are little intricacies like that and how we communicate that become very, very important. Um, you, you can't leave any of those stones unturned.